Hi Tech Enthusiasts! Welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving into an exciting topic. How to expand your network to multiple remote buildings using point-to-multipoint -point wireless network bridges. Now this is especially crucial for businesses schools and other organizations that need to maintain robust and reliable connection across different locations. So let's get started. And if you're looking to expand your network and need a customized tag design, we are giving away a free tag design consultation to help you get started. Just click the link in the description box below and our team of experts will get in touch with you. So don't miss this chance to optimize your network setup with expert guidance. First off, why is it important to expand your network to multiple remote buildings? In today's interconnected world, having a seamless network is essential. Whether it's connecting additional office spaces, linking different school buildings, or setting up surveillance across a wide area, extending your network ensures that all your locations stay connected, productive, and secure. However, Expanding your network to remote buildings come with its challenges. The main hurdles include distance and coverage, because traditional network solutions often struggle with long distances. And infrastructure costs, because laying down physical cables can be expensive and disruptive. And interference and signal quality, maintaining a strong and stable signal can be difficult, especially in areas with high interference. So now let's delve into the limitations of some traditional methods. First, power over Ethernet extenders. Now, PoE extenders are great for short distances within 100 meters, but they can become inefficient over a longer span due to power loss and signal degradation. And next, we have the long-range PoE switches. Now, they can cover a more ground than the PoE extender, but they still require a wire connection, which can be costly and labor-intensive to install. And fiber optic cables, while offering high speed, reliability, and much longer distances, they're expensive to install and maintain. They also require significant infrastructure changes, which may not be feasible for all locations. So what are the alternatives? Here enter our wireless network bridges. So the wireless network bridges offer a powerful solution to these challenges. A wireless network bridge is able to connect two or more network over a wireless connection, eliminating the need for physical cables. And this technology is perfect for extending your network to remote buildings efficiently and cost-effectively. A point-to-multipoint wireless network bridge is designed to connect one central point, the main bridge, to a multiple remote locations, the secondary bridges. And this setup is ideal for linking several buildings to a central network hub. So the benefits of point-to-multipoint wireless bridges are obvious. Cost-effective, reduces the need for extensive cabling. Flexible, easily scalable as your network needs grow. Efficient, provides robust and stable connection over long distances. So before the installation, careful planning is crucial. And here's what you need to consider. For layout and distance, you should assess the physical layout and the distances between the buildings. And for signal strength and interference, you should check for potential sources of interference like other wireless signal and physical obstructions. And for the line of sight, you should make sure there's a clear line of sight between the main bridge and all the secondary bridges. So next, let's talk about selecting the right equipment. When choosing the wireless network bridges, you should consider factors such as range, 
frequencies and angle. And our featured product today is our new wireless network bridges. Now it offers some impressive feature like the 18 dBi dual polarized antenna to ensure a long range connectivity up to 5 kilometers. And the frequency range from 4.9 to 6.1 gigahertz for reduced interference. Also TDMI intelligent polling protocol to enhance the network efficiency. It is robust since we're using the IP65 rating for outdoor durability. And this bridge also supports point-to-multipoint capabilities, making it perfect for connecting multiple buildings. So now let's move on to the installation process and we are going to do it step by step. Let's pretend here we have the central office. We have the network video recorder to display video footage and the router to provide internet access. And as you can see, I already connected it to the router. So step one is to mount our main network bridge. So I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to our PoE injector to provide data to our wireless bridge using PoE technology, which is using one single ethernet cable to provide both power and data. So this is the PoE port. Make sure you plug it into the right one. Here we go. And when you install the network bridge in your main, bridge, main office, make sure you mount it on a rooftop or a high pole and ensure the bridge is faced the direction of the remote buildings with a 30 degrees field. So now let's move on to our secondary breaches. So this is step two. Now when you install the secondary breaches at each remote location, make sure you align them toward the main bridge and remember within 30 degrees angle. And also, you can mount cameras or access point near the bridge if needed for surveillance purposes and internet access. So I'm going to do the same thing using a short patch cord to connect to the PoE port of the wireless bridge. So plug it into the PoE port of the PoE injector. Now for the data port, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect it to our wireless access point. So we can get internet access. And we are also using PoE to power up our access point. So plug it into the PoE port. So let's look at the side. You can see it is getting power and data for both devices. So move on to the second bridge. For this one, we're installing a bullet camera. And basically, we're doing the same thing. Power up our wireless bridge using PoE. Plug it into the PoE port. And from there, to the PoE port of our injector. And then using a short patch cord to connect the data port with our bullet camera and our bullet camera is already powered up. So now it's receiving both power and data from the wireless bridge and the power supply. And for the third bridge, we're basically the same, so that's why I already connected it. And one more time for optimal performance, make sure all secondary bridges are facing within a 30 degrees angle toward the main bridge. And step three, Configuring the breaches. You should access the web interface to configure the main bridge as the leader and the secondary breaches as followers. And you can optimize the setting for range, frequency, and signal strength. So after the whole installation, it is time to test and optimize your network. You can use a signal strength indicator to fine tune the alignment and also check for any interference and adjust the setting as needed. So looking at the big screen monitor, we're displaying the video footage. So as you can see, we're having a live video by using the secondary bridges. 
And let's take out our mobile phone to check for internet access. So first, let's go to the Wi-Fi. And this one right here is our wireless access point. It is connected. So let's check out if we can get the internet. So this is our website. Let's go to the front page. Here we go. So as you can see, we are getting the internet, no problem. And lastly, here are some tips. You should keep your firmware updated for the best performance. Also regularly check alignment and connections, especially after severe weather. And let's touch on the power option for your wireless bridges. You can use DC power, that's the standard direct current power supply, and also PoE power over Ethernet. They're convenient for supplying both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. And also the solar power. They're ideal for remote locations where traditional power sources are unavailable. So there you have it. A comprehensive guide to expanding your network to multiple remote buildings using the point-to-multipoint -point wireless network bridges. Now if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tutorial. Now thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you next time on Fast Cabling.